Going in at Headingley. Bradford Northern already on the field and a strange looking Headingley it is today. Teams emerging for the first time in the Stones Bitter League match from the new dressing rooms in the middle of the stand. Instead of the more traditional walk down the slope, which has been something we've had here at Headingley for a hundred years. Well, Bradford, of course, on song after that superb win over Rochdale Hornets on Saturday, where most people would say it was a poor game, but Bradford were very professional and did everything right. They had progressed to the Regal Trophy final, which will be played here at Edinley on the 13th of January. Leeds, of course, disappointing in defeat at, Widnes, at Wigan sorry, on Sunday, and they'll be looking to get back on Wigan ways. But here come the Leeds team now. And they're led out for the day by their mascot, Matthew Bamforth. And he's one of the smallest mascots I've seen. And he passes the ball to Gary Schofield, and that's uh, right as it should be, because Gary Schofield is his favourite player, and he's really enjoying himself with the youngster, and that's just how it should be. I'd just like to take this opportunity on behalf of everybody at Edinley to wish you all a Merry Christmas and a very happy New Year. And let's hope that Leeds can turn some points and some victories in the silverware in this new year. And for all the Bradford supporters, best of luck for them in the John Player, our Eagle Trophy final, as it's called now, when they will play the winners of the Witness and Warrington game. Well, I'll just run through the teams for you. A few changes for Leeds. John Gallagher's at full-back. Phil Ford, John Bentley, Carl Gibson, Vince Fawcett, the three-quarters. And Gary Schofield and Paul Harkin. The half-backs, Paul Harkin, of course, playing against his old teammates. Steve Malloy is at eight. Richard Gunn is preferred to call him Maskell at nine. David Young comes in at ten. Injured, injuries to Sean Wayne and Roy Powell. Paul Dixon and Cavalier with the second row. Mike Coeries looks forward. And Gary Lord and Gary Devotee, the substitutes. For Northern, just one significant change for them. Moxon is at full-back. Cordell, Shelford, Simpson and March in the three-quarters. Neil Summers is at six. John Pendlebury comes in at seven. David Hobbs, Brian Noble, John Aymer. At the front row, Paul Medley and Carl Fairbanks. The second row, Craig Richards comes in at loose forward to allow Pendlebury to switch to scrum half. Phil Helliwell and Simon Tufts. Are the substitutes the referee for the day is Mr. Jerry Kershaw of Easy Wall. A terribly wet, dreary boxing day, the worst boxing day I can remember, certainly at Eddie for a number of years. And let's hope that the game more than makes up for that. And it's going to be Pendlebury kicking off for Bradford. Kicks deep. And Ford lets that ball bounce, gives it to Dixon to drive out. And Paul Dixon just been awarded the Leeds Player of the Month. And he'll be no doubt open. Richard Gunn runs from acting half-back, and David Young coming on the run, David Young hoping to make the most of a rare senior appearance. Steve Malloy, tremendous ground in the game against Wigan. And the trusty builder, John Gallagher, gets to play back into the Bradford halfway, down and Moxon will pick up, and leads up quickly. And that was a thing that Leeds were guilty of against Wigan, not moving up quickly enough. Summers at six, Neil Summers from heading the Rugby Union Club, just finding his way in a professional game and making a very good job of it. John Aimer, the policeman, a good tackling from Leeds. Medley, and no doubt Paul Medley would love to score here today. He dropped a glaring opportunity, dropped the ball on Saturday from Pendlebury. Really coming on song, really playing well. For Bradford, John Pendlebury, six tackle coming up. Hobbs his kick, there's a rubber, that's safely picked up for Leeds by Vince Fawcett, who should run away from Hobbs, but not Cordell and Fields, and a good tackle from Cordell there, coming in from the wing. Schofield, Jinkin, that's a good run from Gary Schofield. And being held down one Fields there by Brian Noble. David Young, first touch of the ball, and that's good ground there from the former British Lion. Leeds not making any progress, good tackling there from Craig Richards, the ball will go back to Gallagher and again Gallagher's boot is down the middle of the field, it's only Marchant who collects this term, what a good tackle coming in there from John Gallagher, sorry that was John Bentley, all the gin that I had last night making seem difficult this morning, mother's ruin makes you depressed, well it certainly made me depressed. Greg Richards. Yes, 
Um, uh, on Leeds tackling, very good at this early stage of the game. Hobbs, oh, lovely ball, and Gary Schofield intercepting there. Mr Kershaw sees that six more tackles and Schofield's time interception had Medley on the burst coming up for Northern. Moxon in the line. Awkward to tackle Moxon. But hopes to play in the John Player final. Hopes to keep Ian Wilkinson out of the side. Richards throws the ball, Steve Malloy for Leeds. More like a bad assault this morning. And Leeds for the first time in possession outside of their own 25. Dixon. Straight into his farming friend. Dal Fairbanks, their best of mates off the field. Harkins kicking on the second tackle. That's driven Bradford back and leads up quickly and chasing quickly. And Scotty Schofield is always up first. Makes the tackle. And Hamer should be tackled over his own line there. And Simpson getting out from behind his own line. Good play from Northern there, and Leeds not really open to the options there. They should have had two men covering. A brave pass from behind his own line. Medley now. And one of these famous wide-out runs, but he runs into Carl Gibson. And Gibson fresh from his tackling of Norman Inget. Craig Richards running across the line. Straightens up, but he hasn't made a yard yet. And eventually he's brought down when he does decide to come forward. Neil Summers kicks. And John Gallagher wisely letting that run into touch, the greasy ball, bouncing awkwardly. So the first scrum of the game will form. Been playing some six or seven minutes. The score still bad for Northern nil, Leeds nil. That ball's out to Leeds, but not to Mr. Kershaw's satisfaction, so we'll try again. Bradford's big pack already got the push on, but that's out. Safely, Phil Ford has the ball. And brought to ground. Two Bradford, next Bradford players there involved. Mike Coedy running round, good play. Coedy still going, Gallagher, bad pass there, and Gallagher will have to clean up, but Vince Fawcett tidied up. Bad pass there from Coedy. Mr Kershaw says that was knocked down, so six more tackles. Young just making a run. Schofield. Oh, he's slow. Schofield kicking them all away. Oh, it's superb passing, John Bentley. Ford. Pass just a little bit too flat there. And Phil Ford couldn't hold it. First come, Summers still there. Summers is brought down, but still going. A good tackling from John Bentley. We know each other regularly from their rugby union days. Cardle, infield. And Vince Fawcett's on a run now. Gavel Shelford comes back safely. Save the day for Northern there. Chance of a break. David Young. Fisting from Hobbs. Richard Gunn runs from acting half. Spinning in the tackle. Schofield with a kick. Floats over the head of Jiddle Carnell. Bounces on the point. And finds touch. Just outside the Bradford Northern 25. 
So both sides having plenty of breaks of wet weather, causing the defenders to slip. Pendlebury's feed. And Summers loses the ball. Malloy back to Fawcett and knocks and misses him, and Fawcett's got a running chance. And he's running into after Bradford Pack there. Chig gone. Oh, David Young's made a break. Good break there from Young. Just turning his man there and Harkin running across looking for runners. Kawini out wide. Lovely ball of Bentley. Bentley cuts in field. Still going. Gallagher with the ball. Good ball from Bentley. Away to Leeds. Powering on now. And passing out the tackle. Schofield taking it back into the rook. And Leeds had an overlap. Gary Schofield obviously not aware of that. And Leeds will drive it to this left hand side. Harkin again looking for his runners. Spots the gap. He's going. He's going to score. Say it many times, it's so very, very dangerous. And a great try there. Just coming in his way on the sixth tackle. All about for Northern players hanging back, looking for the runners. And it's Paul Arkin and who opens the scoring for Leeds. With a try after eight minutes. Just watch that again on the video. Six tackle, Arkin gets the ball. Just all about for players, just hanging back, waiting for his offloaded pass. But instead, he just spotted the gap and went through it. And that's a try against his old club, Football Arkin. Tremendous try and leads 4-0 to the good. <laughs> and Bradford Northern just contemplating life behind their sticks at the moment. And Gary Schofield is all kick this for Leeds. Simon Irving, of course. Out suspended. And did a Kershaw allowing Gary Schofield the benefit of the doubt there. The rule is that you should kick once you start your run up, but the ball did fall over. And Schofield with this try to put lead 6 0 up. And it's straight through the middle. 4-6-0 the score. So, Engelbuddy placing the ball for Northern. John Gallagher stops that ball. And Paul Dixon obviously not aware there of the rule that you can't be offside behind your own line, allow Gallagher to pick it up. And driven back by some good solid tackling from the Northern Pack. Dixon. Schofield gets Cavalier on a run. Again, Northern's tackling sure. But Chig going, spots the gap from acting half. Airbanks and Medley, good tackling from Bradford. Arkin will put the kick in. Johnny Marching it is who feels. Marching, former Castleford three quarter, settled in life on the wing at Bradford, plays sender, plays wing. Moxon in the line. Engelberry working him over here with Summers. Summers. The ball of marching. Well, he told everybody what he was going to do there, and move still come up. No, no support there for Bradford, otherwise, the gap was on. Hobbs, what a great play, David Hobbs, isn't it? Medley on the burst. And what a great job David Hobbs is making of play a coaching job here at Bradford. Medley and Schofield just squared it up. Moxon drops that ball. Arkin picks up for Leeds. Mr. Kershaw says play on. Gallagher spots the gap from acting half runs. Still going, John Gallagher. Almost up to the 25.
Steve Malloy on the burst. Back of the ball away. So support either side. And good, good play there from Shelford, the former rugby union player. Keeping tight, clamping that ball, Gary Schofield. And Schofield running into Hobbs. Arkin. Again, Arkin will put the kick in, and that's too far this time. He finishes up in the Bedford Northern dugout. Got a penalty there, given touch judges on. A penalty given to Leeds. Obviously, I can interfere with that after he kicked the ball. I was watching the ball. The touch judges come over and acknowledged what he's seen, so Leeds penalty. Touch judge getting a cheer there from the Leeds crowd in the south stand. Schofield's kick. Finds touch. Midway between the half, well, the 25. Here comes Steve Malloy. Good tackling, solid tackling from Northern. Young. Driving forward, David Young. Had a good game so far this afternoon, a big fella. He'll be delighted. Arkin switch play. Coedy. And that's a penalty to Leeds there, both him and Fairbanks punching and thumping there after the referee had shouted held and rustling and tugging. And John Pendlebury's not too happy with that. But that's unprofessional play there from Bradford, giving Leeds a chance in front of the post. The referee's tightening up on that sort of thing this year. Mike Coedy definitely held there and still having a arrive in a tug and Mr Kershaw clamps out ten yards and takes Bradford back to within a yard of their line. And got a score field will no doubt attempt the goal kick. Schofield with this opportunity to make it 8-0 to Leeds. And it's safely through the post, so Leeds go further ahead. 15 minutes gone now. But he again with a kickoff, and again it's deep. And skidding along the turf, and Ford lets it bounce off his knees and into his arms. Still going, slips forward as he attempts to straighten up. And Hobbs there, trying to kick through at the play of the ball. And the ball just knocked out of Cavalier's grasp there as he was found the gap. And good play from Northern, that's. Greg Richards, Bradford's best attack for some time now, in the Leeds 25. Lining out deep, Hamer goes himself, taking the short route to the line, straight forward, down the short side. Greg Richards, another tilt at the line, David Young has him. Northern be better, comply one feels moving this ball out. Leeds look thinly spread on the far side, Pendlebury. Hobbs, reverse pass to David Hobbs, and six tackle, and Bradford have used all so far, five tackles up, with drives from their forwards. Well, Pendlebury will no doubt kick this turn, and Schofield takes it on the fault, and manages to get back over and run over his own line. Good play there from the Leeds captain. A quick, quick thinking from Pendlebury. And the forwards certainly driving one another about in this. And Bentley does some acting half, just... Settling play down. Young comes for the ball. Hacking. Launches Gibson. Gibson pull it out. Oh, and great tackling again from Shelford there. Donald Shelford. Certainly settled down in his role as a rugby league player. Superb tackle there. Schofield's kick. It's for Cardle. 
Carlo running across field, straightening up now. Oh, and a great tackle, copy book tackle there from Richard Gunn. Back in the side today at the expense of Colin Maskell. Fairbanks runs from acting half, showed the ball and went himself. Caught Leeds napping a bit there. Summers, Pendlebury, straightening up, spinning out of tackles. We've seen what he does when he spins out of tackles. Well, the referee says that's play on, and six more tackles. Well, I would have thought that was a knock on, but referee Kershaw a lot nearer than me. So here come Bradford now, Leeds stretched a bit here. Medley, he's lost the ball, he's forced it, has it for Leeds. Putting inside. Schofield, good play from Leeds. He's Schofield, what's the gap? Still going, and he's Schofield. Surely there should be something here. Ford takes the ball, but the cover gets back. And Gallagher cleaning up for Leeds. Well, good run there from Gallagher Schofield. The cover got back. He's probably delayed his pass a bit too much. Arkin running. Cavalio. Back to Arkin. This is good play from the Lawyers. Running Bradford ragged at the moment. Fawcett cuts inside. Looks for the return of Arkin, but the cover not good. Arkin just out on the touchline side. Keeping out of the line. Kawidi straightening play up. Young, Richard Gunn, this is superb play from Leeds. Oh, and a great tackle there from Calf Fairbanks on Schofield. Dixon. Pushing men off, giving it to Bentley. And Bentley still going. Back to Ford. This is just the sort of stuff you need on a call box in the morning to lighten. The gloom here at Eddie and floodlights on even at this early hour. Gary Schofield's chip over. Will he collect or will? Knocks and knocks on. So it's back to six tackles and leads piling on now. Ten yards from the line, Schofield acting half. Cavalio looks to go himself. And that's a try there. Well, that's slack defence from Bradford Northern. Absolute appalling defence. David Hobbs will be having nightmares about that. Cavalio was stopped some five yards away, stopped again three yards away and still managed to get the ball over. Well, Leeds going further in front, 20 minutes of play gone now. They try the Cavalio. And that followed some superb football by the Leeds team. I mean, the length of the field, David Young involved. Steve Malloy. John Bentley, John Gallagher, great run then, Paul Harkin again, obviously involved as everything that Leeds do. So Cavalio earns the accolades of the South Stand below me, Chris and the lads had a tremendous Christmas they were telling me before the game. I'm just pleased that I wasn't among them or I probably wouldn't have made it here this morning. So Gary Schofield with a kick. Yes, that's a superb kick. That's 14 points and he'll lead in the lead. But he kicks off again and again, it's deep, but this time it's not as deep. And Paul Dixon picks that ball up off his body. And makes good process, progress, should I say, back up to the 25. David Young. Oh, and stolen the ball there, Cal Fairbanks, and that's his speciality. And David Young will be disappointed with that, but Cal Fairbanks, master of ball stealing, as we saw on Saturday in the Regal Trophy, led to Bradford Northern's first try. Summers. And slammed down there. Two-man tackle, Kawiri, Eddie Schofield, and Summers is injured in that tackle, but that was just a hard tackle. And you don't get tackles like that, Neil Summers in rugby union. Medley. And around with Noble. And Gibson spotted that and came in from the centre position to make the tackle. David Young. Lining up, Hobbs now signing to run this ball. On the sixth tackle, Craig Richards. Manacled. 
Clamped, three men on him, can't get rid of the ball, turnover. First turnover of the game. And Paul Dixon it is, bringing that ball away for, for Leeds. Good tackle there on him, Dave Richards. David Young again this time, up to the 25. Gone. Good tackle there from Fairbanks. Scorefield. Moxon picking that ball up. And driven back by Bentley and Schofield. Roger Simpson spots the gap from acting half. Oh, what a good tackle there from Young. Richards running out in the centre. Dixon there. And another bone crunching tackle on well, both sides this morning. Notably Carl Fairbanks for Bradford. The leads forwards crunching in the tackles. Summers, lovely ball. Well spotted by Carl Gibson, spot tackle there on Shelford. Pendlebury will put the kick in. Harkin collects. Missed tackle by the kicker. Injured now, Paul Harkin. Gibson. Just signalling that he's all right. Paul Harkin, I think, to the bench. Steve Malloy. And again, good tackling from the Northern Pack, Hobbs Medley. Keeping Leeds pinned down in this area. Leeds not able to get out. David Young, it's up to the 25, makes progress. W.O. who almost stole the gap there. Good ball from Richard Gunn. Back for Gallagher with the kick. And Gallagher runs and makes ground and puts a lovely kick in. And that's driven Bamford back 50 yards. Moxon at his old pick up. He's got marching outside him, comes back inside the former Castleford man, steps out of one tackle, and leads up quickly. Good play from the liners. Penalty there to Bradford. It's their first of the game. We've got a substitute. Bradford, I think it's going to be Craig Richards that goes off, is it? It was, card was set up there for Northern, but took no notice, Richards. And so, Simon Tufts it is, I think. He's going to sit down again. Tamer, taking play into the Leeds 25. Fairbanks. Oh, Leeds Gilly there, letting him run. A run there from the underbank farmer. Hobbs. Lovely ball, Medley. Leeds certainly aware of Paul Medley's capabilities. Aimer. Six tackle coming up. What's Hobbs do this time? Runs the ball, marching. And that'll again be the turnover. Good tackling from Leeds and Dunford been a bit devoid of ideas on the six tackle. It's twice they've turned over within the Leeds 10 yard area. David Young. Scorefield. Oh, Edie. Trying to set up John Gallagher, that was there, but Kawiri well wrapped up there. Summers, half-back's doing a good job. Schofield looks for the kick, that's charged down. Going to be Paul Medley. Paul Medley collects the ball for Bradford. Boxing. Going for Matty Nath. Losing the ball. And Bradford losing ground there, that's not good play from... 
Not good play from Northern. So Hobbs now, what can he do? Throws out a pass, bad pass, but well picked up by Summers. It was a bucket pass that. So the one that gets you the spelling St. James's in the casualty department. And known in Australia as St. Vincent. Mr. Simpson dummy in and David Young adhering to the old Jim Sullivan principle of never buying a dummy. And knock on there from Bradford. Ball was knocked forward, and the rule is it's knocked forward. First knock on offence is given. If the opposing side can't take the advantage. And in that case, it was Leeds who couldn't take the advantage, and it's Harkin who gets the ball out of the scrum. Schofield, Bentley. Oh, Goins on Bentley now. Has he got the legs on Bentley? I think this is going to be a try. Little Cordle, and he's still in off with a great try by John Bentley. Well, that's just the sort of thing they can do. Superb try by John Bentley. Played just upon the half hour. Bentley coming in, in field, taking a lovely ball off Gary Scoville, I think it was. And having the legs to outpace the entire Bradford defence, including Juddle Cordell, on the sort of try that John Bentley had been dreaming about while he was eating his turkey yesterday. Bentley will be delighted with that. We've said it so many times, we know John Bentley's capable of those tries. What a great run. I'm just getting a drink from Stuart, and I'm sure that'll only be water. In fact, it will be as he spits it out, and I know John Bentley doesn't spit out the whiskey. I heard some... Uh, Interesting stories about John Bentley on tour with the British Lions from one of his colleagues on that tour, Brian Barley. And Bentley just showing what he can do. Mike Coedy is just going to hold this ball. Leads 18-0 to the good. And say this other game virtually over as a contest, I would say now. Bradford capable of fighting back. Wind blowing the ball about Schofield's third attempt at teeing the ball up. Successfully through the middle. 20 points to nil. Play just on the half hour. Substitutes. Medley coming off, and Craig Richards, and Tufts coming on, and Phil Hallowell. Well, so Paul Medley will be certainly disappointed to come off the field here at Edinley today. Harkin, Cavalio. The conditions just abated a little now, the rain that was causing the problems has now stopped. David Young. Good run there from David Young again. It's back for John Gallagher. Nice tackle, bounces in a touch, superb kick over Tony Matchers. Outstretched head. And just as I tell you, the rain has stopped it, now starts again. Let's come up form, just inside the lead's half. The lane driving down at the moment now. They're making a fool of me. If that's uh, what it takes to make a fool of me, I'll accept that. Summers. Good run there. From Neil Summers. Moxon in the line. Straightens up. Oh, gets rid of the ball. The Simpson, Simpson, jinking, weaving, spinning round. Plant by Schofield, that's good play from Gary Schofield. Involved in both those tackles there. Tufts. And the rain driving down in the faces of the Leeds players. Hobbs loses the ball. And Arkin finally picks it up for Leeds. Running across, looking for runners, sets Bentley off. 
Oh, lovely ball from John Bentley. And Ford. Good play from Leeds. Ford running across field, straightening up now. Looking for Ian Bradford forwards to bring him down. He's not too happy with the treatment, is he, see Phil Ford? From the Bradford pack, Harkin. Oh, lovely ball into Coyne in the gap. Gibson comes inside, Leeds stretching Bradford again. He's got Richard Gunn with him. Well, features of Richard Gunn's plays, his support. Harkin puts a kick in, Leeds chasing this, marching, Cavalio. And what's the referee going to decide? He decides that Moxon can play the ball. Marching, good kick there from Harkin. Leeds back's not up quick enough, just the forwards chasing. Tackling from the liners. Keeping the steam pigs piled down there. Hobbs with a kick. Wind takes that downfield. John Gallagher chasing. The ball sits up for him. Good tackle from Shelford. Shelford, of course, his brother. Played many times with John Gallagher. Buck Shelford, the All Blacks captain. Wayne, not quite. Oh, Daddle should I say, not quite making the All Blacks jersey. David Young, good tackle from Fairbanks on David Young. That's a scrum. That's the ball after Kershaw had shouted held. So, David Young will be disappointed with that. Well, that's the strangest penalty decision I've seen. We're saying that Leeds didn't set up square there, but Leeds haven't even formed their pack. So, Bradford won't complain, it's a penalty to Summers. Kicks up the field. John Aimer. Lovely ball to Fairbanks there. What a great tackle for him, got his score field. Simpson. And everybody brought to the ground. In support. Hobbs, this is Bradford's best attack now. And the ball's put down. Simpson. Cummings goes himself, David Young gets him and wraps him up. And good play from Leeds. And Bradford again, Gildy there, not moving this ball out. Pendlebury, Summers, Moxon in the line. Not really sure of what to do there, Moxon. Puts the ball through his legs. And surely that was a knock on, but the referee says that was OK. And here come Bradford now. Chance now. LOL. Six tackle coming up. Bradford taking it out with Pendlebury and Summers. And Bentley kicks on. He gives away six more tackles, but that's Lane Bradford lost. Tremendous amount of ground again there. Not really looking in anything together today, Bradford. Disappointing display so far in his first half. And no doubt David Hobbs will have strong words at half time. Very noble in from acting half back and young and Kawiri in quickly at the tackle. Hobbs. Looking slightly forward, but Bradford really this is poor play from Northern. Boxing. And Bradford not really putting two or three passes together. Hobbs. Goes himself, looking for the run around. Hobbs stayed in there with Kershaw, not watching play at the moment. And we'll his kickovers for John Gallagher. He's safely taken. The lobs went to front Mike Coedy there for something that happened in that tackle. They drop out under the post, that ball kicked through and then kicked dead. I don't know what Leeds could do about that. 
And good thinking by Bradford. That leads managing to kick the ball down. So we're going to have, I think, Gary Schofield will drop kick this ball. And the wind just holding it up there. And... Cordell coming in from the wing, picks it up. Up to the 25. So a good sustained spell of Bradford pressure, but so far nothing to show for it as regarding points on the board. Losing the ball in the tackle there. Fairbanks. Nobody. Oh, walk down. Good play from Northern now. Within 10 yards of the Leeds post. Hobbs. Can he work the Oracle? Goes himself. Can't get his pass away. Arking. Class pin. Six tackle coming up. Wow. Succession in knock ons there. And the first knock on was a Bradford one. Be a scrum and it's going to be Leeds head and ball, I think. Arkin it is, who gets the ball. And again, Kershaw penalising Leeds for something in the scrum there before the scrum had even formed. Maybe do I have to have a word with Kershaw at half time to see just what the problem is in that scrum. From Bradford in there, and that's Leeds this time, Gilly, of some slack, atrocious tackling. Straight again from the tap penalty, and Richard Gunn having a word with Kershaw. And straight from the tap penalty, a failing of Leeds this season. Gullible from men running from acting half at straight at the line. We've seen Bradford concede one to Cavalio. So the penalties in succession for Bradford finally paying off and allowing them to score. And just coming up to the 39th minute. I can't quite understand what Mr Kershaw is seeing wrong with the lead scrum. Suddenly he's decided that leads aren't packing down correctly before they even get their heads down in the scrum. And I think David Wall will be having a word with him at half-time just to see what the problem is. But that's certainly those two or three penalties in succession for that against by Bradford have allowed them to score. They've never really looked like making progress up the field. And Hobbs it is. And that one saw David Hobbs score all the points here at Edinley in the international against France. Five goals and a drop goal, 11 mil. And that's wide. So 20 points to four it is. And we're just coming into the last minutes of this first half. And in fact, there goes a hunter. For half time with a score of 20 points to four. And it's been very much leads his half this half. Harkin had a great try on a solo run from the little fella. Left Bradford defence. Stood still, that was 6-0, Scoville converting, Scofield's penalty, made it 8-0, and then Cavalier had a try barging his way over from close in, slack tackling by Bradford, made it 14-0, and then John Bentley scored the try of the match, after good work from Scofield in the middle of the field. 20 points nearly it was, and just on half-time there, Leeds penalised again at a scrum, and Aimer barged his way over from the tap penalty. Half-time score then, Eddingley, 20 points to Leeds, 4 to Bradford Northern. Gary Schofield. Gary Schofield kicks off for Leeds this time with the wind and the rain behind them. A good run there from Ellowell. Colleague on the gantry here from Bradford Northern says that's the way. That was a purposeful run from the youngster. Al Fairbanks. Oh, and a good tackle from Schofield. David Young again. Fairbanks floats that one over as Gary Schofield had done, but Ford promised to give it to Gallagher. 
gets nowhere and Fairbanks roughing him up a bit in the tackle. Gallagher, almost up to the 25. Richard going to look for Steve Malloy. Oh, that's good running from Malloy. Gallagher this time will safely kick up field. That's for Moxon. He's going to have to chase that one. He's Moxon. That could go all the way, actually. He's running funnily now. He doesn't run all the way. In fact, Moxon says he does. So Bradford have a tap. And back in position in their own 25. Little Shelford. Well, and one of the coaches have said at half time. I'm sure David Ward has said more of the same, and I'm sure that David Hobbs has said that Bradford have to certainly show more commitment and certainly put some passing together before they're not going to get anywhere. That's a chip over, Harkin Bobby in, and so he's been forced it. All leads in possession for the first time in the second half. Gibson looking for work in field, straightening up. Noble, I think, injured in that tackle, just Harkin David Young. And David Young certainly copping some stick from the Bradford pack this afternoon, but he's a big, brave lad. Harkin's kick, finds touch in the 25, superb kick from the little general again. And just having a word with Fairbanks and Dixon as well. They all mates, Dixon resplendent in clean kick. The rest of the Leeds team as filthy as they went off at half-time. Everybody feeds his own feet, the most blatant of feeds you've seen this afternoon, that one. Bradford take the scrum, in fact they won the first staff scrums 3-2 and the penalties 4-2. Again, Gary Schofield doing some tremendous amount of tackling in the middle of the field, Gary Schofield. That's going to be another penalty there for Bradford. Kicks into the north stand seats. Cordell, man with the legs to go on the field, little Cordell if he gets a half break. And Bradford forwards fighting for that ball, and it's a dummy run by Tufts. A good tackle in there from Young again. Young's had a good game this afternoon for Leeds. So much juggling, Pendlebury. Really nothing on there when he got the ball. Summers juggle, preventing any flowing play. Hobbs goes himself. Great play from Hobbs. Cardell. Gibson coming from behind and catching him. A good play there from David Hobbs. Superb play from the captain. And all them pressing now just outside the 25. Fairbanks. Dummies. It's a ball away. Amer dancing, bobbing about. Up to the 25. Six tackle coming up. What will Northern do on the sixth tackle this time? It's been given to Hobbs, he'll no doubt put the high kick in. And that's a terrible high kick, he's at. And then knock on there after he took the ball superbly. Shelford, he then dropped the ball and leads. Come away in possession, and Richard Gunn is bringing the ball away from that tin half. Pushing, driving back there, and then Cal Fairbanks making sure. Schofield, Gibson, Gibson down Shelford, and this is typical Leeds player to contain. Defends into attack, force it coming inside there. Probably would have been better staying on touch in Leeds, suddenly come 35 yards from their own line. And Schofield's kick will take that further downfield. The rain incessantly driving down at the moment, and Moxon having to chase back and pick up this ball deep in his own 25. I'm sure Leeds is grateful to be playing with the elements in their favour in this second half. Supporters 
to our right. As you look at it, are absolutely drowned. You got a lot just warming up for Leeds, but that might just be a precaution. Tufts. Clamped. Man and ball. And David Young. Pendlebury. Good tackling from John Bentley. Bentley tackling Summers again from acting half back. That's good play from Leeds. And Bradford still not really putting anything together, and it's a shame because this game deserves better than that. And Gallagher allowing that ball to bounce sensibly before he picks it up. Gallagher spots the gap. And safely, 10 yards inside the Leeds. Bradford half, shelf for the Izzo. Takes him out eventually, Malloy. The ball's gone out there. The touch judge there, incurring the wrath of the North Stand. That ball was obviously pulled out of his grasp by David Hobbs. And Hobbs has got the, got the scrum that he wanted. A bit of fisticuffs in the scrum. Well, both number eight's been pulled out. One of whom is the Bradford captain, David Hobbs, and one of whom is the Leeds number eight, Steve Malloy. And Judy Kershaw from Easingwold. I drove through Easingwold a few weeks ago and I saw Judy Kershaw jogging at the side of the road. And was solely tempted, but I wasn't driving at the time. And that's just a Christmas joke, actually. In the case, you're quite a good referee and a good friend of mine. The scum now has moved from far away, and Malloy and Hobbs have been simbined. And we'll see who that affects most. And Bradford scrum. Shelford. Certainly Bradford will probably feel that more than Leeds. Because Hobbs is their general. And Hallowell spills the ball and Gary Schofield greatly accepts for the liners and Leeds bringing it down the short side now. Bentley coming in field, and in men off, scoring, straightening up. And Summers this time gets his own back, tackling. Gibson. Last ditch tackle on Carl Gibson from Eamon and a good job John Eamon there on him. Marking, switching play, going himself, Kowiti. And Vince Fawcett overrunning Kowiti. And back to Arkin, good play from Leeds again, Schofield. What's the gap? Run around, Cavalio, Richard gone. Dixon, pushing men off Dixon. And play inside of Bradford 25, six tackle coming up, Richard Gum. Lovely ball to forward there, Cavalio. Schofield goes himself, jinking, weaving. And finally, Bradford have it. Good play there from Richard Gum, bringing forward a really short flat pass to Ford. Nearly caught Bradford napping, but not something in the ball away. Mm. Dragged almost towards touch by Paul Dixon. Roger Simpson. Played who surprisingly went on tour him. Well, surprisingly, many people's eyes went on tour. Of Papua New Guinea and New Zealand in the summer with Malcolm Reilly. Reilly really made much progress since he came back and probably disappointed with his own form. Amy. Cavalier bringing him down. Six tackle, Bradford not making much ground. Ball's back for Pendle, but he did kick. He goes from forward and stopped that with his foot. Well, actually, he picks it up, it bounced lovely for him. He's got Gallagher with him, spots the gap, this throw. But LRL comes across and finally nobbling him. John Gallagher fresh from his two try stint at Wigan. And a superb game against the Riversiders. David Young. And Young lost the ball again, and this time it's him and it's lost the ball. And the ball very greasy this afternoon. 
Two players losing the ball in a the tackle there. The Fairbanks not just shouting his instructions to Pendlebury, but to be fair, young Carl Fairbanks well clasped there. And Bamford playing this game, turning the ball back inside, keeping it in the forwards. Still going, Roger Simpson. Sixth and last tackle coming up, says Mr. Kershaw. Pendlebury trying to chip throw. That forward with his hand, but Arkin it is safely for Leeds. Oh, and Arkin's away. Again, showing the ball, Arkin. He gives it to Gibson. Gibson's got to go with him. Back inside the Schofield. This is great play from Leeds. Superb play, Schofield running away from Moxon. And play, Moxon in. Simpson finally bringing him down and Fairbanks again interfering with plays. He runs back. That's three times I've seen him do that this afternoon. There should be something here. Vince Fawcett's going for the line. Well, that was greed on Vince Fawcett's pride. Carl Gibson and March outside him. And that should have been a try to Carl Gibson. And now Leeds just trying to tilt back. And that's been knocked out by a Bradford player. What will Kershaw decide? Well, he didn't have to decide anything except that Cavalier was again knocked off the Bradford tacklers and gone through. 15, 14 minutes of play gone. Another try to Cavalio. A sparkling play there from Leeds. Harkin running, Gallagher involved. Gibson, Gary Schofield, superb run. Set up play. And Leeds supporters will be well pleased. With their performance here this afternoon, and Bradford fans must be absolutely disheartened. Whether Bradford have got the legal trophy final on their minds, it's hard to say. But I know Bradford were keen on being Yorkshire's number one club in the league, and certainly only showing they have a long way to go towards that. Bradford had ambitions of the championship, and I know most of the Leeds players think that the championship will come from Leeds, Widnes, Wigan, or Bradford Northern. So Schofield attempts the conversion. Hobbs and Malloy should be ready to come back on. And superb kick from Gary Schofield. Just to rub salt in the wounds at Bradford, 26 points to four now. Leeds, both substitutes warming up now, and I think probably Steve Malloy will stay off the field. The plane makes its way through the swirling mist and the fog. David Young gets up. He drives forward. And a punch there, thrown in the tackle, and Mr Kershaw's seen that, and Young's taken some stick all afternoon, but he's as hard as he stand at the new dressing rooms and get underneath at Eddie Played at St Helens with his ear hanging off and came turning the next day. 23 stitches in it, Gary Schofield kicks towards us. Number 12 coming off for Leeds. That's going to be Cavalier, who's had a great game this afternoon. Gary Lord coming on. And Neil Summers it is, it's coming off. And Paul Medley returning for Bradford. And Cavalier's had a great game this afternoon. And David Ward congratulates him. Two tries. Got it, gun with a tap. David Young again, trampling on men as he goes through. Dixon. Gary Lord, screaming to his friends, bust through the tackle, he's got Schofield with him and he drops the ball. Well, I don't know the referee can see that there's a knock-on.
Well, Gary Lord, having done the hard work, he just slightly throws it away. Hendelbury accepts the ball from the scrum. And a knock on there from Watson. Ball like a bar of soap this afternoon. It really is terrible, atrocious conditions. The worst we've seen at Edinburgh for some time. Hey, Malloy, just warming up. And no doubt him and Hobbs ready to come back. Harkin gets the ball for Leeds. Looking for his runners, finds John Gallagher. And good play from Moxon, stuffing out the threat of Gallagher. Very hard again, through the first man. It's Cal Fairbanks. Sorry, Paul Medley. He's forced it inside, looking for work. Over into the 25, Leeds piling on the pressure again. Caulfield, that familiar running style. Don't miss to go through. Brian Noble's gate, but the latch comes down quickly. Again, Arkin looking for runners and finds Coheed in. Coheed is ball to Gibson. Arkin going himself, puts a kick in. That's kick back, so he's going to has it for Leeds. Six more tackles. But she'd gone. Oh, Paul Dixon putting it down. And the three or the touch judge or whoever decides, he's decided that it's not time for them to come back on. Bradford win another scrum. And sticks to the game. Both number eights join the fray now. And immediately Steve Malloy in action for Leeds. And that's good play from Leeds. Just marching back from 10 yards or so. Hamer yeah, running out wide, but only as far as Carl Gibson. I think Leeds are going to bring, make a substitution. It's charged down. Picked up for Leeds and by Schofield and Medley swinging his punch there at Schofield. And Dixon pumping men off. Richard Gunn in support as always, gets a good ball. of the Northern player, they waited until the player got out of the way and Richard Gunn thought nothing was going to happen. And we'll be able to see that one close up on the camera, but that's just, just a disgraceful exhibition from Fairbanks. And surely Fairbanks has got to walk for this, they make a mockery if he doesn't. The rugby league will want to look closely at the video of this one. Well, surely they know this is. This is disgraceful. And the referee of the touch should seem to know who punched the player, so he probably won't send him off because he hadn't a blooming clue who it is. Both touch judges on this is becoming a farce in the rain here, delay. And Richard Gunn laid out there. And if he should really know what it is. And he sent him off, and rightly so. 
and rightly so, Fairbank sent off and fortunately a Kershaw points for the wrong way. And it's no good John Pendlebury mourning about that because that was a disgraceful, as disgraceful a thing I've seen on a rugby field for a long time. And showing the cowardice of Carl Fairbanks, who waited until everybody's back were turned and then just punched. And that could cost Bradford dearly. And Richard Gunn had his face rearranged there and gets to his feet, stunned. And not the sort of thing we really want to see in a rugby field. Well, Kershaw unbelievably has given the penalty to Bradford. now fired up for this but they'll have to be careful if Kershaw's in the sending off mood Hobbs brought down spoil the game here today that from Cal Fairbanks spoil Christmas that's the second match that Cal Fairbanks has been sent off against Leeds this season and the Northern supporters cheering their team on out by some penalties up And a tidy medley. And you knew what the crowd think of that, and Fawcett's annoyed, and rightly so, Leeds penalised there for absolutely nothing. And Northern finally get on the score sheet in the second now for the tidy medley. So Medley almost up in the ball, but managing to wriggle over. Well, I'm sure that I'm not the only one who was amazed at what the penalty was given against Leeds for. Richard Gunn not involved at all in any way, except having his head knocked off. And the referee in the touch judge is not really knowing anything either. Hobbs misses a kick. 26 points to eight. The crowd in the south stand. Getting some stick in the field. All the supporters behind the post to our left. Getting behind their team now and the lead rallying. Craig Richards coming on for John Amer. The short kick goes straight in the touch. Clever play from Gary Schofield, spotted the gap. No, they not really organised. The wind howling now. It's out to Pendlebury. Nine two, Bradford surprisingly won the penalties. And the scrums have gone. 7-4 to Northern. Greg Richards trying to bump them off. Hobbs, Bradford playing the best football of the game so far. In these last few moments. Noble Pendlebury's kick is charged down. And picked up for Leeds bravely there by Vince Fawcett. Gibson. Cardwell coming in from the wing. Affects the tackle just inside of Bradford half. Gibson throwing the ball, arcing. Knock on. (laughs) 
So again, Cardinal played his leads, making a substitution. David Young has had a great game this afternoon and earning the applause, and I'm sure he'll be delighted. And David Ward just coming to welcome him. He's had a good game this afternoon for Leeds, got stuck in there and done nothing wrong. Halliwell going to stand off. Watson running across, finally running up. Almost in a touch there. Roger Simpson punches Arkin off. Gallagher and Ford have him. And Bedford fired up now with the sending off of Fairbanks. They certainly can't feel aggrieved about that. Hobbs, Scorfield has him in the middle of the field. Pendle better. Six tackle coming up, play just outside the Leeds 25. Hobbs puts the kick up and the ball's blowing back. And Gibson picks up for Leeds. Still going, Carl Gibson. And the kick in the wind, driving that kick back. Hobbs standing his ground and putting everybody on side. Arkin, short ball to Gary Lord. Almost low, Gary Lord. Arkin again with the kick. That's a lovely kick from the little fella. But I think it's going to roll dead, it does. Fourteen thousand people here, and every one of them deserving a medal and a warm bath when they get home. And I'm sure the Leeds club won't do it, but they could all do with a tot of brandy. The rain absolutely silent down at the moment. Just about impossible to play rugby on any sort of game in these conditions as they are just at this moment. Stones driving into our common position. Get your gun down on that ball for Leeds, the feed of the Bradford back. Better Devotee. Throws the ball, goes himself, good play from Devore, on the sub for David Young. And Hobbs interfering there at the play of the ball, that's got to be a penalty to Leeds, a stupid thing to do. And Leeds third penalty in the first of this half. Oh, Schofield. Malai. And six more tackles there. Harkin stepping. Penny Lord. And leads within seven or eight yards of the Bradford line. Steve Malai. And drives over with closer now. Harkin, lovely long ball to Schofield. Schofield looking for a gap, not there. Had for tackling, good at the moment. He's going to use a short side. Paul Dixon, dummies, goes himself. And he's clamped, ten yards, six tackle. Harkin, he's going to run this ball. Gallagher, Bentley. Ford, Devote, again up and under from Gary Devote. Oh, and it's bounced dead and Devote chasing his own kick. And the leads attack, feeding him out. Well, Arkin has been awarded the Man of the Match award. Hobbs up. That's a good ball out there, marching in the middle of the field, up to halfway. And 
lead. Stuck to the test well this afternoon. Not let Bradford's aggression get to him, really. Shelford loses the ball. And Gibson's up from Cardle's tackle. And spinning in the middle of the field, straightening up now. Conditions atrocious here at Edinley. The worst I've seen him for a long, long time. Schofield trying to chip over. And gets the ball back from Hobbs. And six more tackles, Hobbs complaining, but he had the ball plainly in his hands. I suppose it's second nature to the complain when the decision goes against you. And now Kershaw penalising Schofield for not playing the ball. Harkin takes penalty, but he takes a quick tap. Oh, Shelford picked up a lovely ball there. It was a bad pass, and he picked it up on his boot laces. And conditions like this with the rain in your face it was a great take there. Diamond Tufts into the 25. Up to the ball. Lovely ball again out to Shelford. He spills it again. It's picked up by Leeds. Dixon. Malai. Conditions deteriorated in the last quarter of an hour. Dreadfully, I can't stress this point enough. And the ball been healed by Hobbs there at the play of the ball, which is one of his specialities. So Bradford back in possession and putting a spell of pressure on now that we haven't seen from them throughout the game. Pendlebury, Medley, bumping men off. Gary Lord and Steve Malloy finally bringing him down. Short side, Pendlebury. Lovely ball there, Moxon. Leeds in possession again. Ball put down. Chig gun. Malloy. Decide. He's got to decide really that the first knock on is the one that counts. So Bradford will have the heading ball here and Ford disappointed with that, but the wind and the rain driving down and making play difficult. That ball just floated really away from Phil Ford. And he said that it's Leeds that Bradford had possession and that so Harkin gets the fifth scrum of the day out for Leeds. And Bentley knocks on. Leeds done tremendously well this afternoon. They've got back to winning ways. No nonsense fashion and not letting Bradford's ill discipline get to them. And nobody brought down by Arkin. It was who showed the charge there. Tufts. It's him being Mike Coedy. So Bradford will have yet another penalty. In the last couple of minutes now. 
they've had fed on the attack once again. And they've had a load of possession this half. And only the try from Medley to show for it. Leeds been murdered in the penalties by Mr Kershaw. And as usual in games between Leeds and Bedford, a lot of niggle and a lot of fire. And Noble involved there for no reason at all. After Bradford lose the ball, Kershaw decides to pull the captains out again, I think. A bad-tempered game littered with ill-feeling and local rivalry. And the scrum has been awarded. Oh, and Adam Ball's been awarded to Bradford when they clearly lost the ball in the tackle. So, Kershaw... As referees sometimes do, seems to be making up for the lack of players by awarding Bradford a string of penalties. Craig Richards. Medley. Possession this time, and nothing the referee can do about that. Well, if that isn't a clear, clear case of holding down, I've never seen a better one. David Hobbs just laying on the man for an eternity while his players got back. And again, here we have the same thing again now. Brian Noble this time. Oh, stick it. Let's play him for Bradford out of the field. Ford chasing that ball, but Moxon should pick that up for Bradford. Very well, runs from acting half. And Coming into the final couple of minutes, so so this game. Handlebody puts the ball down. Gallagher wrapped up by Elliwell. That's a good ball from Dixon, but Gallagher had to stretch for it, and the cover got him as soon as he got the ball. Narkin. One ball out to Gibson, Gibson conditions just a bit slightly at the moment. Schofield sees the gap, goes himself. Medley trying to take his head off there. He's using the short side, back inside. And Kershaw determined not to let anything go for Leeds this afternoon. Richard Gunnard is back to play then when he dropped that ball. Oxen stepping out of Dixon's tackle, showing the ball, straightening up. Six tackle coming up. Handlebury shows the ball. Oh, 
Oh, it's still a six tackle. Bedford moving the ball out and Cardle this time kicks more sensibly. It's for Vince Fawcett to pick up. Which he does. Gallagher with him. Ooh, and a terrible pass from Fawcett. Well picked up by Gallagher. On the ball, floated there and John Bentley. And Ford's straining away now. He's up to the full back and Cardle gets him, but he's not tackled yet, Ford. But not Marching coming back, making sure. Dixon. And this time, Bentley does not come. The ball just hanging up in the breeze this afternoon. Okay, sure, attempting to straighten the pack. Ball's out to Bradford. Comes in not a minute too soon, probably for the spectators. The conditions at the moment are the best that we've, we've had since the kickoff. So, it's Leeds in. We'll seal the points here in the stones with the championship game 26 points to eight. They're up the scoring with the try to Paul Arkin when the crafty scrum half. And with himself and went through and scored. 6 0 with Scovers conversion. A penalty to Schofield, 8 0. And then Cavalier had a try after good work and good play, good pressure from Leeds. Cavalier buys his way over. Bad tackling from Bradford made it 14 points in the Schofield's conversion in the try of the game. A superb from the halfway by John Bentley, beating men, leaving men in his way. Leeds led 20 0. And then right on half time, after succession of penalties to Bradford, Amy barged over. 20 points to four, and that's how it stood at half time. When the second half, Leeds opened the scoring with a try to Cavalier again after good work. And Schofield converted 26 4. And then the minute that's Soured the game for me, and I'm sure most of the people here. A disgraceful exhibition of play by Carl Fairbanks led to him being sent off. Completely thumping Richard Gum, and everybody's back was turned, including a Leeds player. Sent off in the 59th minute. Amazingly, the penalty went to Bradford, and they came downfield and scored their tie with Medley after 62 minutes. And that's how it stood at the end of the game. That's Leeds. We win a bad tempered, typical derby game between Leeds and Bradford. And we hope you've enjoyed it from Headingley here on Boxing Day. <laughs> Richard come here, mate. Richard, back in the side today, you must be delighted. Yes, uh, very delighted, Stuart. Uh, obviously, uh, missed the Wigan game, but David told me earlier in the week that uh, they would give me a chance again to get uh, Disappointing result at Wigan, but we've had a good win uh, today against Bradford. Yeah, I'd like to take you through the punch that you got from Carl Fairbanks. Did you not really see that coming? No, I think you could probably tell more about it than what I know. Uh, I never saw it coming at all, and uh, the next thing I remember, Stuart just picking me up off the floor. Uh, but, uh, I think Carson I think must have thought he owed me that one because he missed me last time I played him. I ducked under him, but I didn't see this one coming, so I won't quick enough. You've been here seven years now, Richard, and uh, you finally look as though you're going to break into the first team on a regular sort of basis. Hey, you state of things at Leeds at the moment? Yes, uh, he's obviously taken quite a while, hasn't he? He's been uh, on apprenticeship. I'm not saying that it's over yet. Uh, obviously, uh, me and Colin are battling for that uh, number nine spot, uh, but David's given me a chance today, and uh, I hope I've proved his decision right by... Uh, Obviously, a solid display and a good win from the side. After the loss at Wigan, do you think that that's the end of Leeds' championship aspirations for this season? No, I don't actually. I think that uh, there's a long season left to go. It's like halfway stage. Anything can happen. Uh, Hull still look to be out there away, but there's uh, plenty of time to go, and I'm sure that we can still put something together. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Stuart. Tart. Well, John, back in the side today, and delighted everybody with the length of the field today. Set myself. A bit tired. Yeah. Um, I played, well, I, I played against Wigan and, you know, I managed to get back in the side and you know, he's picked me again after, uh, obviously, Simon's uh, bad fortune, my good fortune. Um, I had a chat with Simon, you know, before, well, after we, after we found out the news and, uh, you know, we both accept what's happened and Simon's now available and then, you know, for a New Year's Day game, so we just wait for selection and see what happens then. Have you been frustrated by this season sitting on the sidelines for most of it, John? I think it's frustrating for every player who goes that has his share of injuries, but if I can now continue and play the rest of the season without having another injury, um, I think I've had my share of having three months out of the game now, so I'd be uh, not satisfied with that because I'd, I'd have rather played for the three months, but I'd be pleased with uh, being able to play the rest of the season now. After the disappointing defeat of Wigan, do you think it's the end of Leeds' championship aspirations? No, 
you know, a lot of people, not, not being disrespectful or anything, uh, if you're asked about uh, the championship, um, anything can happen, can't it? I mean, I, to tell you the truth, I don't really dig into that. I just take each game as it comes, as of lately. I, I haven't known whether I've been playing the first team or the second team, so I've got to put my game together. Uh, as far as the championship uh, up's concerned, um, that's for the club uh, to think about. You know, the players have got to go out and do the business, which we didn't do on uh, Sunday. But uh, we did do today, so you know you just take a game as it comes. You don't know who's going to lose this game this afternoon, so anything can happen, can't it? Yeah. Okay, John. Thank you very much, Tom. Right. Okay. <coughs> well, David, you must have been impressed with the way the team put results together today. Yes, I am. I think it's a reflection uh, of the effort and determination that we put in at Wigan. Although you've no divine right to win a game with the effort that you put in on your last game, as I said to the boys before we went out. But certainly we, we opened up well and we got a good result in the end. You must have been impressed with David Young, I thought he was good. Yes, Roy Powell uh, was selected and um, he, he phoned me yesterday and he's, he's badly uh, in bed with full poison. So um, David Young came in and certainly made a mark for himself. Uh, he's been waiting for his chance, he's been playing consistently well in the A team, but through just circumstances, uh, through the boys who have just been playing there in that position, he hasn't been able to get in. But I've, I've every respect for him and I've every time for him that he'll make it again. Yeah, that's the benefit of having a big squad, David. I thought that uh, John Bentley and Richard Gunn coming in again had good games this afternoon. Well, Richard, there was no doubt about him. He's, he never lets us side out. I don't think he's, I don't think he's played in the league's first team this season. He's lost. He keeps telling me so. Uh, that's a mark for him. John Bentley's always liable to win a game for you. Um, possibly his defence wants tight enough, but he's always liable to excite you and make a big break and win a game for you. Um, yeah. Well, we're halfway through the season. Do you think that the Leeds title aspirations disappeared with that loss of Wigan? No, no way. No way whatsoever. I mean, it takes great character within the side uh, to come back and beat Bradford Northern as we've done today. Um, many a side been beaten at Witness and been beaten at Wigan over the last three or four weeks would have gone downhill from there. You know, but we, we've rolled the sleeves and come back. Obviously, there's a lot more tough games to play from now until the end of the season in the Championship. Uh, we've got a nice draw in, in the Rugby League Cup, but that can't be taken for granted as well. Everybody's fighting for places. Um, we have a few injuries, and Simon Irving has been suspended. He's done his two matches now. But the beauty of having a big squad is, is that you don't weaken your side. Um, Gary Portis, he's, he's crying out for a full game at loose forward or wherever. Mike Hewitt is playing well, keeping him out. Um, Simon Irving. He'll, he'll, he'll be in contention for regaining his place back in the centre, but who knows? Who, who knows aside from uh, from where they're there? Well, thanks for talking to us, David. I'm sure those are the dates that you prefer to have. Well, yeah, of co course they are, yeah. 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 All the best for the rest of the season. Cheers and all the best for the new year, and let's hope we can really um, put a trophy on the table yeah, by the end of the season. Yeah, thank you. Okay.